Good morning, everybody. Guess what? My internet's out. And I'm trying to upload my video, yesterday's video, while tethered to my phone. And I'm on the second try of that. And if it doesn't work, then guess what? I'm going to freaking Starbucks to do it. I'm not very happy about it, but gotta do what I gotta do to do what I gotta do for you. So I was searching around on Facebook mm -hmm. and I found this little article from, where is it from? CBC.ca, this and that with Pat Kelly and Peter Oldring. Uh, apparently a New York artist creates, quote, art that is invisible and collectors are paying millions. This lady is only 27 years old. You've got mail. And she claims to spend hours on creating each piece by literally just imagining. She actually opened up a gallery, like one of the really big galleries in New York, uh, the Schulberg Gallery in New York. And, uh, her collection is called The Empty Room. It is literally an empty room. But according to Lena or Lana or however she pronounces her name, there's art there and she imagines it. Now I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't spend money on something that's invisible and I can't actually touch. Mom, how do you feel about that? I agree. Would you, would you go to the gallery just to see it? No. <laughs> I love how much, no, I would not. No, I wouldn't. I mean, if it was free, would you go? No. no? It'd just be boring? Because see, my thing is, is that you don't, like, I want something, if it's going to be considered art, I don't want someone to describe how it looks to me. You know, you know? Sure. I think it's called being a sucker. All right, well, let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments. That'd be very interesting to, would you guys go? Would you guys buy a piece? You know, all that different stuff. Let me know down in the comments. So good news, everybody. I fixed my microphone. So expect within the next few days to have a karaoke cover coming out. All I have to say about that is it's about time. All right, so after a little bit of just screwing around on my computer, now it's time. <sighs> Me and my stepdad and my mother are going to be watching game day downstairs and it's going to be a lot of fun and we're gonna be eating food, even though I'm not very hungry. I'm gonna, and I'm also gonna be drinking some really, really good lemonade. My mom has this really, really excellent freaking lemonade. I'll show you guys, it's like really, really super pale. It's like. Almost clear, but it's so good. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Like, look at how pale that is. I'm, I'm just saying how pale the lemonade is because it's like really, really interestingly almost clear white. It's really, really good though. All right, guys, that just about does it for me today. <sighs> I am tired, and for whatever reason, today I've had the worst headache, like right behind my eyes, like right here. It's been terrible, but tomorrow is a new day and I will be feeling better. Um, so today's inspirational quote comes from Muhammad Ali. Do not count the days, but make the days count. So with that guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that little subscribe button so you can come back tomorrow and hang out. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No. So, with that, guys, love you all and see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scout!